say that you're just testing this, but they're actually gonna go for the sink and solo smoke it with the race. Life, I was going to say, you know, Nat is gonna go on the Viper and then Rega is gonna probably, you know. Going on. Already that take towards A gonna be beginning, fighting out for that long control and a little bit of an early split, but it's all been heard. Redgar is fully aware of what's around that corner and Defo oh, goes down. above expectation. Actually finds two headshots there. Slow things down a little bit. Through the main artist actually gonna respond here. Zipat will find a kill of his own as well. Actually all kills coming through in favor of FPX. Nats finds himself on a 1v3. 30 seconds the pistol left. artist actually gonna hold pretty close inside this smoke. Nats seemingly aware of the possibility. I mean, oh. if he can find the first. Very. <laughs> oh, oh, timing. Just doubted it at the last second. Yep. And, oh, and I do want to talk about Artis as well. He's the one who's um, going to be actually the... Um, I mean, it's good. Obviously, there were lots of questions back when he was playing that. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, Ooh, Chronicle. Hey, Chronicle. All right. Oh, a little something. A little freebie there on the way in. Dip his toes once again. We'll oh. find a second as well and a couple of tags. Angel and Sugetsu oh, are very low. He's made this uh, not just possible, but looking like a actuality. FPX might be sweating at this point. Yeah, it, take a trade, no problem. 3v2 still. Angel and Chow, the last two, still trying to work this one out. Probably a little confused as to what's happened, but nice work from Chow to find Nats. And now Redgar and Defo trying to play to the time a little bit. Allow that plant to come in and Redgar to close the gap just a touch. And the stun's going to come through. Okay, okay, shout. Anything? Ooh, the control. He was looking <laughs> at but... A they will lean back away. Redgar. Oh, yeah. That's the first. Second will evade him, though. Yeah, and, and sitting... Straight out wide there. No ability to really back away from it either. Definitely going to try and close in. That should be... Yeah, that, that's a pick up and a half. Oh, Zipan. Zipan, he got the second off that. The first, fair enough. The second, unbelievable. And the ult's going to do very little, really, to affect how that site looks. Able to peel away for now. Maybe going to garner a little bit of space to work forward. But Nat is unable to find much for it. And FPX put their foot down. This is going to be hardest lead in the pack. And where's that next string to it? There's that next layer. He doesn't need it. He's fine by himself. But a quick trade out. Shados quickly coming on over with that supportive play, but actually a bit of a fun but Okay, he's still fine. He's still fine, at least for one. That's kind of surprising. Spike planted. I know exactly where. Well, Theft gets invested here. Shao will find another kill. Chronicle will trade things back out. Angel under a lot of pressure now will fall. It's just Shao remaining. That's down to just one HP heads. Both of them finds the first. Yeah, this is great. Bit of utility left to make the play as well. So he can buy time, he can toy with Chronicle, but Chronicle no man to be toyed with, but knowing he's drawn him off the diffuse for now. There's that utility invested, gonna pull him away from the diffuse, buy a little bit more time and close the gap. And another investment coming out from Shao. This is beautiful. Gonna play that time as best he can. Now Chronicle, surely Shao's gonna check this. That's gonna get to halfway. You've gotta try and make this happen for yourself. A tap on the spike. <laughs> and Chronicle, it's down to the wire, but I think he's, oh, I thought he's he actually had that. gone down on that. That was so close, but- Available here. Should get it. Actually, Roll of Thunder going to get posted. The Showstopper will kind of slow things down in terms of the retake for Gambit, though. You can see the swing of the pendulum, right? They try to invest those ults to try and at least get them in the door, and they've done well enough on the first two, but there's the tip of the spear. Zip and an art is still alive, still kicking, and there's still a fight. What? That's the impact FPX needed. Nat's down, Shados down, and now one player. It's going to be Chronicle. Tap on the spike, but Artis denies it, and FPX... Opportunity here. It certainly is, but look oh, at the isolation oh, oh, oh. artist straight away just slicing through them like a hot knife through butter. Chronicle had no chance of this, and Nat is already going to be forced away from the angle. It'd be great if you can get anything done. No pre fight and put down. Exactly. Nat is dead and gone. This is already down to like two players. Yeah, Shados, good pick up on one quick res. Okay, they're trying to get this one back in check. It's a 4v3, but still, Defo going to post it, hope Ooh. it doesn't make any yeah. damage. That does, though. So, Angel, lucky to be oh, alive, gets away. Back to tower. Defo looking to try and close in, but that cross is deadly. Two players pinned to this artist and Zipan. Another pain shell to buy some time. This is not looking good for Gambit. FPX didn't really need to burn anything but a fault line on the way in, so they have loads of utility here to slow Gambit down. Defo has to find something on the way in, but he's not going to shout. We'll find two. Shados responds, but 1v3, don't fancy his chances, especially with a two stack towards RK. First glimmer of hope for Gambit in a moment, but Xiao still alive in this round. 
So gets who's gonna try and close in. The timing's reload. gorgeous. Just hitting it on the reload. Red guards down. Shao then strikes. This is the timing, the spacing we were talking about, but this is now a 1v1. Chronicle against Shao. Molly oh, goes no. in. Oh, it's whiffy. Mm. It's a little whiffy. Gets him around to the site early. We'll, we'll look for silver lining. And I don't know if Shao's gonna expect it to be this close. This. Chronicle. Oh, the timing! Chronicle, I thought you had it. I thought you had it all day long. And actually, no, Shao's gonna punish him. Takes a little poke, but no damage done. Should be able to get the plant here. What a crashy. I'm gonna go and try and take some heads first. 10 seconds time. Right down to the wire here, and Artis wants to punish this. He's found a gap in the wall, but now he gets the grand reveal. Angel, though, not happy enough with two. He wanted it three. And now Nats doesn't have it in him today. Artis finally get Gambit, yeah. right? You're so used to very clinical, methodical thought through pieces, but right now they are just being made into chop liver. Look at that artist straight away finds Nats, quick punish. Has a little bit of a look back up, trying to get in towards this defo. Easy, feed the machine. So get who's there. And it's one by one. This is not looking overwhelming or uncomfortable. It just looks quite clearly right now as an FPX crown. But see what they can do now with the spike down. If maybe these three players can do a little something. Redgar now spotted. Obviously, one still on the side. But Redgar does get the punch towards Sugetsu. So that's tower control now. At least kind of swung over towards Gambit. Okay, Redgar. And Redgar going to catch the cross. This is a bit better. This might stoke a little fire in them. It's a 3v3. That rifle is still in play for Ardis. Wait, the Molly missed. No way. Chow's gonna find Redgar. Oh, Chronicle dear. will trade it back out now. Chow will find another kill. Or Zipan with the pinch. We have Ardis and Sugetsu still alive in a 2v2. Spike now down. Spike planted. The first challenge probably coming in now. Enemy Swing on the corner. Great work. Nats. That's what he needed. A safe pickup. <laughs> Ardis. <laughs> yeah. Fully seen. And a 1v2. What you got for us, Ardis? Oh, those ice cold hands looking right now. Going to be doing well for the one. Punish on Nats and now the 1v1. Does he read it right? I think he has. Redgar's only got he a Guardian as well. Timing. But Redgar's been sharp this round. He's bailed them out so much in time. It's got to be a factor in the timing. He looks the way an artist. The guy is having a game. Welcome back to the spotlight for them by any bit of time. Anything. Like, any damage at all. Yeah, literally, right chip damage is perfect, I guess. Not going to be fussed by the ult. He's brought a bit of time for rotation, maybe keeping some of the site safe and not being able to do too much. But Shado's going to get up on towards the platform on a shout. But again, what's left in the tank? So Angel's got that rifle they picked up. No armor. Actually, no, Zipan does have light armor, so mm -hmm. there's still a little something to this. Okay. The post plants are decent from Gambit, though. Never molly That's left. Pretty tricky. Yeah. Well, if it's Chronicles, maybe they'll be all right. Redgar still looking on the money, at least aim wise. And time being bought by the utility now. That clock's going to start ticking quite quickly. Unable to punish a player just yet. Redgar, lovely. We said it some time again. The guy's at least on form. Gambit. Invest the utility early because of that, which again works Easy. relatively well, but it's kind of expected, right? These two teams on the, on this sort of timer, 30 seconds left, they're going on the site hit. You're kind of gambling that you're in the right place. Now Sugetsu, again, name of the game, buy him some time. Oh, Try and do something with this one. He knows he's being closed in on. How much damage can he do? Absolutely zero. Zipan leaves him a parting yeah, gift towards Redgar, but it is still a 3v2. Angel and Ardis, the last two stand. Ardis on route, but he's still pretty far away. and He's got Chronicle to handle, oh. and Chronicle's letting nothing go astray. <clears throat> We'll close this one out. A little bit of tunnel vision there from Artis. Well, I want to see if they're aware of this. Nats, we called him out. We want to see more from this man because you know he can be an absolute impact player. Now Artis shows his hand. He now knows what's going on. What? The res coming? And it didn't connect? I thought that was on the money. Artis still alive. Zipan's paint shot comes through towards Defo. Artis still stands, still gets Redgar. It's a 1v2, but it's far more viable than it was. But where is Sugetsu in this? For the steps, you can see Sugetsu actually considered it there. Oh, Ooh, he there catches him on the spy cam. Oh, I'm desperate to get that player on the cross, but you now know that Nats, the bodyguard, is on duty. And he Talked about it. There it is. Gambit going to take the space, getting towards the site. Already going to be defo there. Chronicle now crossing. How? What is that trade out? Chronicle, though, going to put his name up in lights. Going to be finding two. Angel and Zippen now removed from the matter. Chow is still alive, and as is Sugetsu, joined by Ardis, who's slowly clearing as well. He's not going to be there for a minute. And the timing. wow, the solo challenge on that as well. There was no one to trade Redgar if that didn't go right, but Shao does eventually find him, and it is down to this 2v2. Now, Gambit have the site, they don't have the spike down artist. yet. He's been creeping the whole time, but Chronicle seems aware of the possibility at least. 
It's huge though. Operator in hand. Ardis ultimately has to be the one to take first contact here, potentially. Jiao, a little bit disconnected right now. No way. He's supposed to be fine. The headshot shade off. Gonna find the first. Yeah. Oh, it's Whiffy. Oh. What? No Went time. for the second. Boombot gonna try and clear out these corners. Xiao has to deal with it, but now could be punished on the way through. Defo doesn't decide to do too much damage, but it's Nats and Chronicle. Oh. And that's where it all falls to I pieces. FPX struggling now. Down to the last two artists and Sugetsu. Considered positions as well. Not much more that they can really get away with. And an operator. Artist with an op on yeah. the retake. It's not pretty. The guys had a great game, but this is going to be a horrible way for it to potentially go into OT. No possibility of swapping out a weapon either ahead of this spy camp. It's well shade off, but difficult for Sugetsu to really yeah, capitalize on that. And now it's just artist left. 1v5 operator. Yeah, good game, buddy, but I don't think one's going to go your way somehow. It's a heavy alien and actually going to be a full retake probably from Gambit. That was a bit close. Oh, that one's very close on the money and Nats. The beast has awoken, but Artis finds it right back. Two quick kills and he wants more. That's the artist you need to find the confidence, to find that bit of magic, but it's not done yet. Shados was one of the two players who excelled in that second half. For now, he's going to be forced away. Kept at arm's length. And catch this cross, though. Ooh, just considered it. See, though, after the, the cage fell, so gets, he was holding for that. Yellow still has his wall, though, so potential to separate Ardis away from this. And going to do just that. I like that to get to sweating now. Oh, and the punish to Shados. You're nasty. He's going to hear this. Uh, Ardis, he's got his ult. He's got the... No oh, way, Shados! No! No The way. crumble. I really thought Ardis looks a bit funny in that picture for a second, but it is going to be Shao on the op. To get to finds Chronicle, uh, and it's working? Yeah. Question mark? Uh, of course it is. Uh, of, of course it's working. Nats now at a 1v4. Not for much longer. And you can see the pause for thought and FPX. Not looking so ready to dive on in. Artist puts life on the line, waiting for that second string to come into effect, and no one was really there. This has all been one-sided thus far. Angel, the only one to really draw blood for FDX as a slight take, has been held at the very entrance. No one's getting forward, and Sugetsu is a mile away from this again. And that's just chilling in the spy camp. Chronicle posted up, should be able to find this as he springs. There will be his fourth. If it does, we'll slow down, but... Nothing really gained on the back of it. Yes, it slows down Gamma on the way, but Nats finds a kill. We found Artis who was waiting there the whole time at Dish. Oh, you're going to be devastated, but FPX, there's the backline defense that you're waiting to see kick into effect. Zipan and Angel, but it's still Defo, still doing what he can, but it's going to be Nat left in a 1v3. It's around all fronts and six seconds to go. Just going to make a mad dash or do whatever he can, see if he can spot someone, because we're going to go again, aren't we? It ain't over yet, folks. This is going to be one of those days, so get yourself locked in, get cut. We need to, to see stand. that punish of the rotation, yeah. though. And the problem is with Defo pushed up so far, he's still going to get a That's bit of beautiful. damage on this. And Artis has to fall away. Defo's playing a, a gorgeous game. Really good punish towards Zipan. And you can see the concept coming out from FPX. But the problem is you have to at least clear towards main to cause that rotation, right? And, and if you can't get past the first hurdle that's Defo, you're not going to get what you need. And again, Defo's still yeah. not getting fully cleared. Gambit, I think... Oh, Artis might be just, just around that side. corner. And now he has to turn. Oh, and he's spotted one on the drop. Artis is lucky to be alive, but he's still going to do the damage. As he catches Redgar on the cross, going to pop the ult and try and give him the fade away. And those knives just ain't working. That Zipan's rifle will be going to pop himself up there. You can see on the other side, it's going to be Nats, who's had a bit of a hot and cold game at times, but he turns the flash well, but not well enough to come back and deal with Artis. It's like now under pressure. The two players look like they have to respect this and kind of fall into that. Not necessarily a retake, but maybe just a catch on the cross. As Redgar does find one Zipan with a quick trade out and a spike. Going to be going down. Not necessarily uncontested, but he will keep his life. Well, Artis takes a lot of damage there. Down to literally one HP. And yeah, we'll get wall banged off there. Three v three though, and FPX still have control of Arcade here. But so gets you spotted on the cross, but still good for one. Finds Defo. And this plays in Zipan really well as well. Actually, Shao's the one to make the most of that. I like that crossfire. What? Hold, but I like what Shados did even more. Digging two out of oh, nowhere. The third oh, oh. just out of reach. Punish one of these rotations. Alt line posted, but it misses here. Shao gonna punish further. Spike Finds Redgar. 
FBX running away with this one. Nats now, the last man standing. I can make you a believer sometimes, but this is going to be a tall order. Zipan closes the account. It's 17 to 15. We won't change up too much. I wouldn't be too surprised. But this I mean, is, this is a huge is change. Going on the... Yeah. He's on oh the instead of jets. <laughs> I the so that it came up. And the Chronicles on the... Uh, <laughs> what? I, I, I mean, I, I am, like it. Look, look I'm checking. Okay. I'm checking stats because I'm not. for a cent calm. I think. I think it's a good idea. I feel like there's no Sova here. <laughs> I'm like going mad. Yeah. There's no Sova. There's only Sky, right? For BX, so probe towards B initially. Redgar swing out, find two freebies here on Dardis and Zipan. Finally traded out. Five, but we'll yeah, follow up. Completely unchecked. Yeah. On. Um, kind of thrived in the mayhem. Everyone trying to clear long after oh. the contact off the back of up by a little bit more time. And you said it, it's that slowing effort. Molly down below as well, gonna make this a little bit more difficult. Zipan gonna try and navigate past the Chronicle, all too aware of where they'd be funneled to. Gets a punish on one, but the trade comes out. The crossfire still holds until now. Angel left standing in a 3v3. This is the bonus coming out, and well, that's a big chunk of damage coming in. Nats, so the timing on this could be pretty dangerous. Defo gonna put his body on the line, finds one for free, and actually, didn't get this started. Yes, the spam is there, but no one connecting, and actually, Defo, no he has no, no reason right, right? to stop. He keep doing this, Nats is his cross and all. This is a disaster for FBX, made to look silly by Gambit. That flash is good though, Shadoff is eating up a lot of that. Still no progress towards Red Guy, actually finds a wall bang onto Angel. Nothing achieved on the back of this. I need to see them either, and the Seekers come down. Yeah, that's going to draw a lot of fire out and make sure everyone knows what's up. Now, actually, yes, they do find Shados, but there's still Nat who hadn't got checked on. Zipan with a lovely shot. They're clearing as they go, and by hook or by crook, you're not meant to be doing this. Going to force the ult to come down. Deny Lisa Spike plan for now. Ten seconds on the board, and Defo's creeping on the site. Chronicle going to close in as well. It's still looking deadly. It's probably not going to go. Has he got that? Do they get it down in time? It was down to the wire. It is planted. A 1v2 for Chronicle, who is insane on that one. All right, what's what's given for free? What Gambit lean it's away from? Pace. Most of the attempted pace, should I say. They've taken over Hooker incredibly quickly. Artist, great work from the opening there. That's the impact you kind of need to be seeing from him. And the back of the aggression it works well. I'm going to note the players, but so you can see the pressure going right back into his red guy. He's not going to get away with his life. And Nats now does try and slip across in all of the mayhem that was going on but it is a 1v4 and he's been already wrapped on sugetsu's going to play back by shower but they're not going to get what they need high flash comes in you can see the set piece in motion flash in towards octagon and yeah eventually maybe nats gets one that's fine but chronicle went down in the meantime so sites completely under the fpx banner this is actually a really nice site take considering they knew they could be up against a bit of uh, a, a scrappy purchase or odds and ends You've got to be quite clean on these. You've got to take them seriously. And FBX, at least we're seeing a little bit of that personality showing through their capability in that regard. But Defo still with a rifle has the opportunity for two, and he takes it with both hands. Zip Allen to get to punish and a quick play towards the site. They've cleared artists as well. A disaster in the making. And Chow now back to the wall, gets checked on, and they took the foot off the gas for a wow. second. No one close by, and they've hit the brakes for a second. They've lost that springboard effect they could have had. Angel already isolated and punished 30 seconds. 30 seconds they don't left. really have any sort of step towards the site. Defo hasn't been checked on here. He actually decides to swing a little ahead of it. I thought he might wait to see if he could get away with something from that, but no. Gets involved and loses life. 20 seconds now. This is right down to the wire, and that spike is still at long. Flash is actually perfectly timed there, but FBX still. 10 seconds left. Muscle their way onto site here. Five seconds. Spike will be planted. Nats now coming up. No way. No way. Nats denies it. <gasps> the... Down B. No way. Crunch. From so deep in spawn with the snake bite. Maybe Shadows is just that little bit deeper. Yeah, you could see him just on the back wall of things, keeping back to it. It's far away from the possibility. And again, good work on this. I don't know if they can make much of it. Sugetsu's going to find Death, but it's Chronicle on the trade out. Or he's spiked though down. Sugetsu wants more. He can't get it. Chronicle. This guy is so sharp today. And the retake again is what falls apart for it. And that's got to be devastating, right? We already talked about the lack of post plant utility, let alone with the ults coming in. You kind of think that might be a way to unlock a little bit more. But Redgar's done with this amount of pressure coming in. He wants to greet it with a smile and already artist the next one up for the challenge does at least get shade off but he needs a bit more he needs some help in this one and there it is Xiao and Sugetsu come through they've got flight control and they're actually trying to clear back in towards showers but there's still presence here to be noted defo one just swings on out finds nothing for it Shower preoccupied though now by the molotov isn't going to be 
Too much of a bother with the wait. Remaining. Oh, no, wait, Chronicle! Chronicle's a god Are right now, playing me? above his station. That was perfect. He isolates one with a molly, forces them in the corner. They can't... A desperation play for the... Actually, didn't catch that flash. Didn't... No. Sky flash didn't pop at all. It didn't reveal left. position. Able to turn it regardless, but they had no idea who was there. If they control the push coming out through from Hooker, there'd be no damage done, but they have managed to slip the net. Shados has to respect it to an extent, but he's going to just put himself into a corner. Nats has his back, but Angel breaks through. A 2v2, but it's Redgar and Nats still. 13 seconds. On now coming in. High flashes. They try and just crest the corner. Nats, please, Angel out of it. And that's Nats again. They've called the rotation in, be it a step, be it something heard. This is a pretty telltale sign. And Depo's response, pop the ult. If he finds anything, he's trying to buy time to maybe get out what? of that stun. But R Redgar? How has Redgar found remain. three? There was a, a smoke there, wasn't there? What? There was. Yeah, there was. In terms of the ultimate cycle, I mean, this is... Uh, a little overstep from... Ah, oh, this Chronicle, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, come on. <laughs> I mean... He's so damn good. Yeah, it's, it's actually, like, how are you meant to get around that? If he's having a game like he is today, what are you meant to do against it? And I think he's reading it right. Angel's just on that corner. He's got Shados by his side as well. He's fine. Now, keep in mind, this isn't uh, uh, a hello shout. Shout. That's a Spectre, Spectre by the way. is a long-range weapon. It uh, is a long-range weapon. I'll tell you that now. My, it's incredible. Mine don't shoot uh, that straight. I'll tell you that much. No, no. He's found just the alternative fire mode. You know what I mean? It's it's real interesting. And maybe a flash in. Oh, it actually caught. Maybe pre far on it. There's Nats on the punish. Yeah. And Red Guard, let's see how that Spectre looks, eh? Not great no, this not time. Not good as <laughs> Shade off left in the 1v4. You have a rough idea of where these players reside, but. It's gonna be hard to get a, oh, oh, a clean 1v1. Right. It's gonna be hard to get a clean 1v1. Yeah. I've lost. I've absolutely told a fib. He, lost he found a 1v1 <laughs> midair. Needs to find a couple more though. What is the trickiest part? Of this? No, no way, no, Shados. Shot. Shados, are you serious right now? He's got the res. So gets us trying to close again. He's got his flash back up in a second. He's gonna put down the seeker. He's gonna try and keep Nats back at bay. Oh my god, 20 seconds, and Nats has got... He's there as He's fast as he heaven. can be, I think. What? Oh. Why? Welcome to oh no. Ult. Oh no. Paints the site green, and Sugetsu now, flash up in about five, has to somehow find Nats. In a world that's certainly not his own, this is not looking nice. The prediction on the position pops out the flash. No way. it well. Sugetsu keeps it in line. Oh, Angel. You are. You can hear all these steps. He is in. Oh, right. Maybe the spot that he could do some damage from. But again, we talked about it. Can they deny the plant? They're trying desperately to do so. Zipan and Xiao are last to try and yep. put up a fight. And yes, away we go. Left. But Xiao's here quick. He's not going to look for the peak. He's going to look for the cross. Someone's gonna come in. Oh, he just tried to peek ahead of it. Chronicle ready to punish that in case anyone dared to do it. Molotov goes in and Zip and now staring down the barrel of a gun. It's a 1v3. And he hasn't had a good game this time around. This is a lot to ask of the man. And Gambit just need to play that time. All looking so favorable. So much in his path. You can see it. The vision, the eyes trained on it, and Gambit with a resounding victory here. Yeah, and uh, honestly, with the. And when we take a look at that, this is what we've witnessed before, and this is what we're witnessing right uh, now. And so. Angel is in Sova. Angel is in Sova. We oh, also see the KO. I, uh, I really like it. So the only uh, difference between these two teams is that Ardis is going to be in the chamber. And yeah, no flank coming in either. It's all just gun out through by the site. One for one trade so far. Going to give too much of an advantage to either oh, side. HP looking pretty good. And you're right, the wall's gone up. The Bagus is coming down. This is the utility that's been left in check and unchecked. As FPX will get across the finish line. You can see it there. That late round utility coming into play.
keep those rifles in optimal range. And Shadow's definitely copying a bit of damage off the back of that, but Redgar's got his back. And at least punish artists for maybe getting a little bit too far ahead than they'd like. The only trade really going FPX's way is to get to getting the punish towards Redgar on the site itself. But it, it's this is the layer that's the most tricky part for FPX. Is how do you bring the Spectres anywhere towards these final players, right? Over towards Yellow, you've got two there. The wall goes up. This could be a good way to force the fight, potentially. Yeah. But overwhelmed, outgunned. That's pinned on the site. He can't really play out of this now. He's in a little bit of trouble. Suppressed as well. Shade off Moken too. And the spam! They could find both players with it. Player and Shields go down. So get through just body checks in towards Defo, leaving just Chronicle alive now. A 1v4. Nothing to be done. FBX clean on the playback hit. And they're banking on a lot of that pressure coming in through Kitchen. But Chow's still there. He's fine. Takes down Nats. Shade off. Has to succeed. Fails. And Angel on the punish. Spike going down. And this is a problem. Gambit on. Looking perfect on this act. Glide on the spike. And now Gambit level two. Defo and Chronicle. Desperately trying to pick up a piece for seven seconds. Good pick up from Chronicle. But it doesn't matter. It's all for. This will be a tough one for FBX to find a way back in here. Actually, Sugetsu. Sugetsu points. No nice. way. That's a nice bit of vengeance there for him. And again, this post plant. FPX look very well established and making the damage count. But never needs another. Oh, we can't make it happen. Artist still stands. Chronicle's still there. There's two alive. Redgar and Chronicle, the last two hope for Gambit in this one. Redgar does the damage towards Artist. Time now. Signed with Windle. They've got to make a move and make it now. Chronicle, the last hope standing, puts down one more layer of utility. And time is the of the essence. And Chronicle might have just yeah. them more than enough. The one man to save them in this round. Gets the second on the board for Gambit. Would be long. 13 seconds now. They've got to make it count so late round. And Sugetsu's going to put his life on the line for it. He does lose out, though. Nat's now free to pawn. He's going to stick this one through, trying to do as much as he can for this. Chow quickly comes back in towards Defo, but it's traded out instantaneously. Shados is not letting this round slip. Three still stand, though, for FPX. And they've been good on these plays back in, but Red Bar this time with the body check. Oh, the swing out from Shados is sublime. Chow on the receiving end is going to be now just... Two left. Oh, no way. No, Zipan, no way. And now they've got to find Shados. They noted him before. Close. Little underhand flash tries to get closer, drops down, taps the spike, tries to draw him in. Shados falls for none of it. Keeps his compo. Now, Defo. Catch Angel swinging out. That's the first one here. It'll be difficult for FPX to find anything else on the way back in. Lots noted, but value found just the other back of Zipan has to swing the wall. Most of these kills go in Gambit's way now. Hardest. Oh, He's got a lot to deal with. He's pinged up by the recon as well. Getsu unable to find anything. Shados. Yeah. Continuing to find kills there with FBX now. Sight. Angel ahead of the curve a little bit there. Chronicle will punish it, but 13 seconds left, Lauren. Yeah, it's this is this is such a weird round, such a I, Sugetsu is desperate to get there. If he can deny it, he can't though. And now it's all on Shadows. In, in a what on earth just happened? Gambit with the desperation yeah. adjustment towards Zack away now. Shall actually actively looking into it this time. They have been getting kind of free reign on this for a couple of rounds and they don't expect it. Chow. Oh, it looked like he was the freest kill of his life. He thought he could back away from it. It's actually Sugetsu and Zipan to bail him out. Keep him alive as Redgar and Chronicle looking like the walking wounded. Chronicle's barely breathing and now it's just down to Redgar. Good shot towards Sugetsu, but the rest of this seems just impossible. Spike down in Kitchen. He's got an army to work through. Balls of the first hurdle. 8-4. And that's him. On the hand, Flash came through, you noted it, but also player got noted on the other side. Chronicle does manage to isolate Angel, gets the pick onto that. Xiao trying to take control to the backside of the side. Two players on the other side. Chronicle still making on the punish. They haven't dealt with Chronicle. You can't let him go on notice. You can't let him go unchecked. He's going to get three for his trouble. As you can see, that backside of things is a little busy. A couple of players over there. Redgar, man. And no reason to move. Redgar. Redgar st He's still fine. He's sitting pretty. No problems. Chronicle finds Zipan. I don't know what the uh, theory here was from FPX. This has been a mow down. Well, there's a first bit of utility shown, and Shados has to move on this one. Forced to fight, and the flash is good enough, but they turn punish. it in time to get through the punish. And actually, the follow up as well. What on earth is this? How have they just found three picks back to back? No Ooh, trades came out. And a weird shot coming through from those two, and, and it's just Defo. Some of this is so baffling. As Defo's now presented a 1v4. First challenge, successful. Takes a little bit of damage, but not too much to make it impossible. 
goggles. Every single one could contain that threat. And he finally reveals it. It'll be shit. interesting already. The owl drone, though, going to really tame what he can do. Tries to get the timing just right. And he could not have been better. <laughs> Death, I'm going to punish too. How do they dig him out of these spots here? This is so difficult, Lauren. 30 seconds left. It, it is. I mean, we're down to 27 seconds. One enemy remains. And then it's just a brick wall. Artis is doing whatever he can, but it's just yeah. an impossible challenge. I don't know where that went down to. Back of sight. Okay, good punish on that one. Red got going to be on red alert. He's not necessarily alone, but the utility's going to cut him off from flash? support, but he still delivers on one. Chow with the trade, Redgar now down, three still stand, Shados, Defo and Chronicle, but deeper this time, they're not really challenging directly, this will be an allowance of a plant at bare minimum. Press comes through, Shao actually going to get Zipan back on his feet here. Actually the investment of the Viper's Pit as well. Spike noted, and actually Shados going to pop his null command there. No way they fight back into this, no way. They are never out of these rounds, Gambit. They will fight till the very end, it seems. 30 seconds now, and if you took your thought away from it being a potential turnaround, you would be wrong. Because now just Sugetsu left in a 1v2. What can you do with this? Nothing! Defo! They can, just, they can slow this right down, Lauren. That's it, no, Rickard might get caught out here. No, Angel misses the second. Okay, so tags, but no frags. And the flash was a bit weird. Red guard, gonna show him how it's done. We push towards CT. Okay, Zipan does get the frag, but now look at the time, 13 seconds, they break the wall, they deny the plant, and it's scrappy, but it left. is still just one player left alive with eight seconds and not many options to play with. Five, and it doesn't matter. Zipan towards the site, up and over, up towards the nest. What down Chronicle, tries to tap away, but doesn't get the connection he wanted. Artist does, but it's instantaneously traded. Shados, not gonna let that slip, it's a 4v4. And the plant is down, it's a little bit of a quicker round, and maybe this is the answer that FPX needed. Maybe there is some depth to this team that we hadn't seen them go to yet. The pace change could be it, but the retakes have been solid. And Nat's gonna find a little bit of form here. He's been a little quiet compared to normal. Just to get himself out of danger, he's got Shados by his side. And that's all he needs to continue. Leaving Angel with a Spectre and maybe just a little bit of a hope and a prayer at this point. Three players and none of them just playing <laughs> ball. That's... This will be the first contact. Zipan does at least take down Redguard, but now we do note there's two players still tucked towards the back of the site. Nat's going to go for the quick res, get him back on his feet, but the plant comes in, and this time no one can deny it. Yeah, what's the way, the way back here? Oh, this actually will stand his ground. Finds that kill onto Nat. Could be influential here. Actually flashed up and in the snake by though. Chronicle going to punish. Yeah, that's now back to an even affair, 4v4, but the time still favorable. Zipan, this guy is doing whatever he can to keep this round going in their way. Sugetsu wants to chime in with a little bit of damage towards Chronicle as well, leaving Defo and Shados, the last two here, and Angel could be the killing blow on this one. They don't know his position one just yet. Remaining. I don't think they can really do yeah. much to do anything about it. They hold his ground, but for how long can he get away with this? Around that corner, players are plenty. Doesn't get what he wanted, gonna back away, and Artis tries to close in on that. I like that just play from Artis. Beautiful work closing the gap he will eventually lose down to shados but that's a trade good spacing from fpx the pace change the acceleration towards the side sit and one Ooh, hp he's lucky to be alive he is a lucky boy today but it is a 4v3 player advantage again and nat trying to step a little early does get all the punishes spots another on the follow can adjust well towards the get through it's all on chronicle in the 1v3 time on his side he isolates one and the swing say. together until this oh no Redgar is going to be heartbroken. Oh. Yep, that is painful the to watch. Timing. Wow. Angel, though, grinning ear to yeah. ear. You love those. You take them every day of the week, and now we get to see this retake tested by all accounts. The bounce on that. Zipan going to eat a little bit of it, but it'd be just fine. But it's all effective trades for FBX. They're holding numbers. They're holding the site. Art is still in position. And it's all down to Shados, and Shados is, is down. F Stage wall once again. You see an adjustment in the plant. How many players are in mid though? Oh. FPX have three players on that site leaning through on middle. This is so difficult for Gambit to get a clean plant on. Someone might just put their life on the line to get through. Is, there it is, swings is and crests the corner. No one's watching this, they can't. The wall's in the way and still Chronicle does find one. Angel now down, but it's gonna be Chronicle putting in some miracle, heroic work. I don't think he's got it in him, but I've been proven wrong in the walls past, up. but Xiao gonna try and get it towards halfway. And you're right, wall's there. There's a wall of players there as well. An artist gonna try and step forward, the man. 
brave enough to try and work his way in towards the site, waiting for that next layer of utility. Maybe a flash there in his zip hand. Going to be the instigator. Good trades coming in, but Gambit do answer back this time. Shados sticking around for a fight. Plant tries to go down. Oh, this wins the fight. Shados is dead. It's all on death on a 1v3. And can you believe it? FPX out of nowhere. Picking up the pace, picking up every single drop piece that they had throughout the series and bringing it to this moment. How do they get across the line as Defo strides in towards the site, trying to find one, a player anywhere, and no one is giving him anything. You're going to work for your dinner, Defo. First shot heard, and he's still none the wiser. Looks for another. Spots one out, but there's three players, and he's playing hide and seek, and he ain't winning right now. It's going to be Shower, the first challenge potentially. A tap on the spike draws them in, and Artis puts him in his grave. FPX causing an upset.